Kale, uh, they've been asking you about Kai Soto and Jordan Clarkson while you're here yeah. in the Philippines. So, yeah. are there other Filipino or Asian basketball players that you admire? Um, I'm not I'm not really sure of any recent ones right now, but um, there's some players over here in the Philippines for sure that I've seen from the other night. And I feel like basketball over here is, is continuing to grow. What's your message to the parents of these boys and girls who are playing basketball? To the parents of, of, these, uh, of these boys and girls, just continue to stay on, continue to lift them up, and continue to be there for them. Just because like it's going to it's going to pay off in the end, and so you might not see the progress now, but if you continue to be in there and supporting them through it all, through their ups and downs, it's going to, it's going to show them in the end. And, that's all I can really say. Aside from playing basketball, uh, what are the other things you do to keep yourself healthy? Off the court, off the court, I just make sure I cold tub, make sure I hot tub, and make sure I just ice and stretch. You do a lot of stretching it, just so that I can stay healthy for, for another 82. And also make sure I'm in the weight room, making sure I'm getting stronger. Just because like guys in the NBA, they're faster, stronger, they're a lot better. So you have to make sure your body is prepared to take the bumps and bruises. Yeah, the fans here, they're amazing. You can tell this is really a basketball country. Uh, people in the United States, so we don't really know until you really have to come over here. But my week here, this is really amazing. The energy in the building, man, um, you can't really describe it. Just, you have to be there. Um, when the fans are jumping and screaming up and down, you, you're in the seat and you can feel it. Uh, it's an amazing feeling just to be somewhere else and watching the game. Um, game 7 was amazing. Uh, they battled the entire game. And it was a one-point game. And then last night, a uh, volleyball game, uh, it was great. Both teams did really good. Um, they had some good standout players on both sides. Uh, today, I feel like the kids, they did really good. Um, the last day, they, they put their all into it. And that's all you can ask for. It's like that, then uh, you can't really complain too much. I felt like the girls, they had a really great, great week. And they had a really great day today. And all the girls are really good. The boys, they, they play tremendous. They work since day one, and that's all you guys do is somebody to come in. Just slow down a little bit. Just slow the game down. Um, it's not. It doesn't go that fast over the states. So they can slow down a little bit and just let the plays develop. And, and not trying to make the hero pass, but just make it simple. And that's all I can say. Um, just playing together. Just playing together and doing the simple things like playing defense, making sure you box out, and stuff like that. Just because like you have to, you have to do the simple things to to move on and get better. So. Uh, and it also starts off the court. It starts off the court with making sure their body is strong, making sure they stretch and eat some of the right food. So um, I got I got it through them to them. So uh, basketball here is going to grow. Just you can tell like over time it's gotten better. And these are the best um, kids in the Philippines. And what well, they have the most numbers ever at the junior B, 52,000. So uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. The most memorable moments. I done had a lot of great moments here in the Philippines. Can't really choose the one, but I feel like today's event, me coaching, coaching the kids and being there for them, uh, it was amazing. And also, this is an amazing place, the, the mall. I can't wait to walk around and, and see what they have. Well, first, before the 20 cuts, I, I told the kids, just keep your head up. Just keep working and keep getting better. Don't don't let this stop you. This is junior NBA. You, you have a lot more basketball to play. This is just one stop. So then, um, for the top 20 kids, it just shows them, like, you are one of the top 20 in the Philippines, but you have to continue to keep working. So don't. So don't let that, don't let your, you get the big head. Don't don't get the big head and think you, you're you one of those kids. Just continue to work, continue to get better each and, day, each and every day. And if you didn't make the top five, hey, you made the top 20. And don't don't put your head down or don't get sad or upset. Just use this fuel and to let it change you and to get better and do better. Um, it's, it's great. It just shows that there's players everywhere around the world and, and not just the United States. So it, it gives the, the kids around the world another platform to come and show their skills and show their abilities. It's great. Uh, I really like the journey. I can't wait to uh, try to get there when it's in Florida. When they have all the teams. Just continue to work out. Continue to work out and um, work on the things that I need to improve on. Making sure I take care of my body, like stay in the weight room, 
stay stretching and stay doing the simple things that's going to help help me and help my career. career. Help me with the cash for sure. Uh, we have a very bright future. We have a lot of five and a 26 pick in the NBA draft this year in the first round. So I can't wait to see the GM and the owner who they decide to um, pick for our team. Uh, yeah. Pick the, the guys that I'll be running with and battling each and every night. Uh, like, uh, we have a lot of great guys coming back. Um, Jordan Clarkson, Kevin Love, Tristan, just to name a few for night. We have a lot of great guys that's coming back, and I can't wait to see our future. Yeah. A message to my Filipino fans thank you. Thank you for letting me be here this this week. Just want to say thank you. I've had a tremendous, tremendous uh, time here, and I can't I can't ask for anything better. It um, just shows that. They, they love uh, the NBA and they love basketball. And it's great for me to come over here and uh, get a warm welcome. And that's it. Okay, thank, thank you, Colin.